the title of the exhibition is The Source of Art is in the Life of a People. Roman on Deck came upon that title when he found out about the original floor at the South London Gallery, which was designed by Walter Crane. It has a particular poignancy, not only because of this inscription, but also because this beautiful wooden marquetry relates to the centrepiece of the exhibition, which is a work called Event Horizon, made from a hundred-year-old oak tree. The tree was felled in Slovakia, where Roman's from, and has been sliced into a hundred discs. And each of those discs represents a year, and the exhibition lasts for a hundred days. On each disc, there's a ring delineated, marking out that year, and then there's an event that happened in that year, printed onto each disc. Each day, one of the 100 discs is taken from the trunk of the tree and put on the wall. The first day of the show is 1917, and the event that Roman's chosen is the Russian Revolution. And it's really fascinating to see which events that Roman's chosen one of the underlying threads throughout the show is the way knowledge is passed down from one generation to the next. Another work in the show in the upper walls of the gallery was called Awesome Rules of Language, which is based on illustrations taken from an American textbook from the 1960s, which Roman found in a second-hand shop. When two vowels go walking, the first does the talking. A is walking after E, and E says to A, meet. Find the good listener, the tall family, tall, taller and tallest. He's taken these illustrations, blown them up, put them high on the walls and invited a group of adolescents to come and write whatever they wanted or draw whatever they wanted on top of these illustrations. So a sort of blown up version of tagging your textbook at school. Roman particularly wanted to invite adolescents to be involved in the exhibition in this way because it was a way of conflating the past and the present but it was also inviting people who are in a period of their lives when they're in transition between childhood and becoming adults. So it really encapsulated this idea which underpins the whole exhibition which is about the passage of time and how the present becomes past as, a, as an ongoing continuum. The third work in the show is called Four Moon Phases and it's made of four blackboards from the 1950s that Roman salvaged from schools. They embody years and years of chalk and, and teaching. So again, this idea of the imparting of knowledge from one generation to a next, which he's then emphasised the link with the passage of time by inserting a bowl of a ladle in each of the blackboards to represent four phases of the moon. Much of Roman's work is not so much a critique of, but an analysis of communist and post-communist society in Slovakia and the former Czechoslovakia, where by teaching and the limitations or the direction of teaching was so much part of his own education and upbringing. So it's really looking at the impossibility of having an objective history. When giving talks, watch these points. Number one, a good beginning. Point 11, a good ending. <laughs>